What's good everybody, welcome to Volar's Paradise. My name is Ben, I'm a USB-C Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Hammer Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid. Here's the numbers, you're hitting that subscribe button in three, two, one. All right, let's go. I think this is another one that we can put into the unsurprising category, but no matter how predictable it may have been, pairing the proven performance of the Black Widow line with the early success of the HK22 additive only made sense. This design features the tried and true gas mask core, this time wrapped in the aggression hybrid cover, which was the same as the black and gold widow, but this time including the highly responsive HK22 additive. After the success I had with the Black Widow Legend, it only made sense to put a similar layout on this newest release as they are, at least on paper, quite similar. So we went with the 5x4x4 2LS layout as it is a pretty standard and reliable option for asymmetrical pieces for me. And on the lanes, I was as unsurprised with the shape as I was with the fact that this ball was released in the first place. Hammer has done a great job updating their cover stocks over the last couple of years to keep up with the changing oil volumes and viscosities, a possibility aided by the fact that they just don't have to change the gas mask core. It defined the shape of asymmetric volume wells for a generation. So the performance of this new 2.0 hybrid is exactly what you would expect. The HK22 though is definitely noticeable as the responsiveness of this piece is more than what I had seen from the Widow Legend and the Black and Gold in the past. But it's still got that tried and true strong mid lane and heavy roll through pins. Even though it's a hybrid, I would argue that this piece can generate more angle than the Black Widow Ghost as HK22 just seems to do the right thing more and more often on these high ratio conditions. When considering the downsides of this piece, it is still a Black Widow. The gas mask core, as much as it is proven, is dated. There are arguably better asymmetric core designs that blend the lane out more front to back and don't have such a heavy roll at the end of the pattern, which may then work better for some. But the trade-off is that you will get the consistency and the shape that you expect from the Black Widow line. So if that is something that works for you, this is simply the next generation of what works. So with that, here's the two types of bowlers I think will match up really well with this piece. The first is players with a limited axis of rotation, needing a piece at the top of their arsenal. If you struggle to get around the side of the ball, this piece just never missed getting into its roll phase. So if you need something that you can move inside with and know it will still give you a chance, this is the one. The second is speed dominant players. I see this piece being a great option for those players to stay in the friction when the lane is hooking a lot as its responsiveness will actually control that friction and the core strength will power it through the pins. The all new Hammer Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid may be the predictable next generation of this proven line, but we all saw it coming because, well, we all knew HK22 would just make it better. And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Big shout out to Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Links for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.